Hey, y'all, this week's quick tip is about how to create an interactive lesson inside Google Slides. So I decided to use one of my templates here. It's not fancy. This is the Tic-Tac-Toe Choice Board template, and it's interactive because I have linked each square of the choice board to another slide with specific directions for each one of the choices, because sometimes it's hard to cram everything into the little square. Now, keep in mind, what I'm about to show you is not just how to create an interactive lesson, but how to create all kinds of things that students can click on and go to another slide, not necessarily in chronological order. So that allows us to use slides for something other than just a regular presentation tool and to link to things besides outside resources, like sending them to a website. So it's really easy. Once you get this concept, you will be able to create all kinds of things. You can link words or objects. And guess what? You can show students how to do this and they can create as well. So let's talk about how this works. So if I click on, for instance, directions here, here's activity one, and you would add your directions, your links, your rubrics, everything here. And then there's a button down at the bottom to go back to the choice board. Again, we can click on any of these. Now I'm going to number six. That's how simple this can be. So let's take a look at how to create this. Okay, first things first, you need to create all of your slides so that you have something to link to, like I have here. So I have my main choice board. I also have all of the slides for each of the numbered choices on the choice board. So this is how you do what I call internal linking and make things interactive highlight the object or the words, and you're gonna insert a link. And you can use Control or Command K on the keyboard or go to your toolbar. And instead of copying and pasting a link right here, we're gonna go to Slides in this presentation, and then you're going to find the slide that you want to link to, click Apply, and that's it. That's how simple this is. So you can link to directions, you can link to questions, you can link to answers, you can link to anything you want to and create an interactive Google slide. I also use this method to teach how to create a student table of contents and link slides that have student work all in one slide deck. Use this for so many things and I teach this in my Google Slides masterclass. So you can learn more about this by going to shakeuplearning.teachable.com and scroll down until you get to the Google Slides Masterclass. It is currently 50% off to help schools during this um, time of the coronavirus and school closure. So it's only $29.50, but you can learn all of these alternative ways to use Google Slides in your class. So I hope you like this tip. If you want them to keep coming, click on that subscribe button, ring the bell, and like this video so other teachers can find and follow the ShakeUp Learning channel. Bye, y'all.